My name is Pat Craig, and I am the chairperson of the Veterans Mental Health Advisory Council at the Washington, D.C. VA Medical Center. And we are a 15-member council, and we're all volunteers. So, you know, the reason we volunteer is because we want to be able to give back to other veterans what was given to us, you know, in, type, in terms of treatment here and patient care. So, you know, what we do is we make sure that veterans are getting the kind of care that they are supposed to get. We also volunteer, you know, with, with voluntary services on um, on uh, the uh, Winter Haven, you know, day in January. And what we do there is we uh, give out, you know, items to homeless veterans and at risk for homeless veterans. And we have all sorts of, you know, uh, volunteers to come in that day. We last time, last January, we had about 456 volunteers to come in, and we served 841 homeless veterans or at risk for homeless veterans so I volunteer in order to give back to our veteran community male females LGBT you know anyone that has served in the military and one of the other groups that I volunteer with is uh, veterans for warriors which is a 24-hour uh, service to veterans uh, if they just feel like they need to talk sometimes we have sleep you know sleeping issues so Maybe we just need to talk to someone and work out what's going on on our mind. Vets for uh, Warriors is the number that, you know, you can call in order to do that. So that's why I volunteer, you know, to be able to give back to veterans what was given to me. With the VA, I've been volunteering two years, but I've been volunteering all my life. Well, my parents volunteered. So I saw them volunteering. They would take in, you know, homeless children, you know, or children that just could not get along with their families they would come and live with us mind you now I am one of 11 children so you know when we have others coming in you know that makes for a, a, almost a baseball team so you know I was uh, you know my earliest memory is my parents doing it and it was just something that was you know natural for me to do for new volunteers we have a department called voluntary service and it is in the basement so what you do is you want to take the main elevators down to the basement, take an uh, immediate left, go all the way to the end of the hall and you see voluntary services there. Fill out a volunteer card and what they'll do is they'll give you a call. You come in for an interview and then they'll go through the vetting process. Okay. Yeah. Well, not only is it Valentine's Day, this is also the national salute to patient veterans. So, you know, we're not only, you know, serving the veterans that are walk-in. We have, you know, a unit where we have veterans that are residents here. So we're walking around and giving them, you know, gifts and saying, hello, how are you? We appreciate you. You're not alone. Whatever it is, you know, you're not alone. So, you know, give us a call, come and visit one of the uh, uh, vet centers, one of the medical centers, you know, you are not alone.